In this video we're going to be adding a custom menu link in our module. We're going to be using the links menu YAML file. We're going to see from the documentation all the possible values that we could use to define links in our links menu YAML file. We're going to quickly create a controller and implement an example. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we're going to be creating a simple controller with a root and we're going to be adding a menu link here in the main menu. But let's go ahead and quickly check on api.drupal.org the documentation for the hook menu links discovered author. And here we basically see all the parameters that we could use in our links menu YAML file per link, of course. And every each of the links could have title, description, it could have root name if the root is actually being used. Otherwise, you could say a URL to something and it could have parent, it could have weight so that you could arrange the different links inside of the menu. It could have the menu name and if we skip and don't define the menu name, it would automatically be added to the tools menu and it could be marked as expanded or it could have some options like an array of options where you could also add some CSS classes and attributes and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and in our Drupal instance quickly create a controller inside of a custom module. Perfect. So we just created a controller and we created a routing for it. So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually create a menu link for this path. And we're going to add simply a new file and we're going to call it the name of the module dot links.menu.yml and inside of it we're going to use the same value as we used for the root and we're going to say here title we're going to say Drupal example link that's basically here we are using the things that we checked that we could use inside of a menu link. So the next thing we want to define is the root name and we're going to yes use this root name. This is the same that we used here and we're going to say wait. We're going to say 100 that's more than enough. So the bigger weight that you put, the lower it would appear inside of the menu. And the main menu we're going to use as menu name. We're going to just say main. And if we just save like this, and if we go ahead and enable the module, let's go ahead and search for Drupal. It's Drupal Links example and if we just install it 
and if we go back to the site we see that our newly created module also declared a menu link and here it's adding a menu link to the controller that we just created so if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe please don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications for new videos that i upload comment if you have any questions share and thanks for watching